Once upon a time, there was a deserted place surrounded by a deep forest. No one dared to come here, because it was said that this place was cursed. Even the birds did not fly over this place, as if they were afraid of its darkness and mystery. In the very center of this abandoned place stood an old, dilapidated castle. Its walls were covered with moss, and the windows were broken, reminiscent of the clenched smile of ancient secrets. Only the brave would dare to cross the threshold of this castle that served as home to many people long ago. One quiet night, a brave young man named Peter decided to cross the threshold of an abandoned castle. He was a brave adventurer who was not intimidated by talk of cursed places. He took a torch with him and lit his way through the dark corridor of the castle. He could feel the cold drafts of the corridor air against his skin, as if to warn him of the secrets that lay within. He made his way deeper into the castle, his footsteps echoing on the stone tiles, the only sounds that broke the deep silence. When he entered the old hall, he saw an old portrait on the wall. On it was a couple who seemed to be happy, but their eyes looked like they were hiding a dark secret. He suddenly felt a chill seeping through his bones and found that the torch he was holding began to fade. He turned to see a shadow moving along the wall, but there was no light to call out the shadow. Peter began to feel that he was not alone, even though he saw no one around him. He walked faster towards the staircase leading to the underground dungeon. He opened the cursed entrance with it and stepped into the darkness. After a while, he heard vague whispers that pierced his ears. Leave this castle. There were whispers from all sides. But Peter wasn't scared. Rather, he felt driven by the unrevealed secrets. In the deep dungeons of the castle, he came across a locked door with an ancient lock. Suddenly, the door opened by itself, revealing a dark corridor that led even deeper into darkness. Peter overcame his fear and entered a mysterious space where the walls seemed to have a life of their own. In the darkness, he came across old ancient furniture and heard faint hints of unfamiliar songs. He felt something following him, and the sight of his shadow lengthening on the wall was not his own. He was almost startled by his own reflection, whispering a warning in his mind. He kept going deeper and deeper into the mysterious castle until he reached the central room. Here in the center stood an ancient statue that resembled a demonic figure. When he looked at her, he saw flames in her eyes that mesmerized him. He suddenly began to drown in an invisible energy and felt his own existence merge with the mysterious power of this place. Suddenly, a figure that looked like a shadow appeared in front of him. He was unable to make out her face, but he could sense strong, dark energies in her presence. You made it this far, said the mysterious figure in her deep voice that carried deep inside him. Well, you can't go back. You belong to us now. Peter felt the mysterious power of this abandoned place consume him, and his existence became part of the darkness. The castle, which once resounded with laughter and happiness, became an extremely dark and deserted place that did not belong to the living. And so this abandoned place continued its cursed mystery, warning the brave never to surrender to the dark forces that lurked within its deep walls.